Hey, it's Wolfie Chan, and I'm back with another anime review. And this one is The King's Game. So far, I really do enjoy this game. Or, this anime with a game in it. I gotta give me a second. So, in this anime, I've watched about four episodes, which I'm gonna give three episodes, which... Okay, so funny story, I'm watching another anime, right? And it's going kind of over anime and like all the stuff and in that anime it talked about the three episode rule which apparently in a lot of animes or historical animes or whatever after three episodes things start to get crazy um i think that changed after a while so fun fact three episodes this stuff got hardcore in like one and a half Let's be real. So, in King's Game so far, it's kind of surrounded this poor kid who has gone through the King's Game and has survived. Um, so he then kind of moves to a new school, and the King's Game starts up all over again. So, what happens? People start to die because no one believes in this poor kid. Who to thunk, right? You've already went through this once. No one's going to believe you. And, like, the first episode, this guy, our main character, is basically going, I kind of want to die. But, as, like, a sad joke, this girl's like, but you like me, don't you? It's not about liking or loving or confessing your feelings. And Sidetrack on that. What is it with, like, people below 18 going, ah, you like her because there's a weird text message. Or, you said, you know... Ah, he's a very beautiful person. Oh, you like him? No, it's not that. What is wrong with you? Nobody assumes that it's like, does he have a girlfriend? What if he had a girlfriend? What if? Meh. So the assumption in the classroom is that he likes this one girl, and... They do kiss, and it's like, obedience obliged, or something like that, or something. It's like, you, you did good, you're not gonna die. So, the anime itself goes kind of back and forth from the present in this anime, and the past where the guy actually did the first Kings game. So, what happens to the guy? Well, you find out a lot of stuff happens. He was more connected with that classroom than he is this one. It, so the messed up part about that is that when he's trying to save people, they just think he's an ass. And he's not. He's a really, really good kid. It's just some things happen that aren't the best. So he's trying to help, but nobody believes him. And through these three episodes, um, you find out one of the characters basically decides to do a 180 and goes crazy crazy. Or she might have been bipolar to begin with. It's not really clear. Once again, reviewing three episodes. Mer. But it is, I truthfully believe, very, very interesting to see these characters in this and to have, like, the gore and everything all of a sudden start. Um... And so far, it is very strange, especially when the girl who did like a 180 and instead of being really sweet and really cute is now Maleficent and evil. So, that girl was trying to force another girl to basically kill the guy who's trying to help. And I think that's like a really big part of the game. Um, another thing is that the girl decided, one of, in the past, this girl who liked our main character decided that she needed to touch the king. Well, the king wasn't in the classroom. So that's kind of what it's going on for the third, fourth, and I'm guessing continuous, like, who's the king? Um, our main character found out originally where the king game came from. So they're going to go to that village and figure out what the snap. 
Um, so this is a bit supernatural because the kids kind of die. Not of their own volition. Like, it's just they die. Um, by the way, there's been nothing in papers. We haven't seen really any papers about people dying. Um, there's not like the mayor going, it's a pandemic or something. There's a mass thing of suicides with the snap. Uh, there's no police that's connected our main character because he survived. Like, so you lived. Are you a killer? Like, nothing, no kind of thing like that. Which, I believe in the real world, that, that would have been an actual thing. Um, so it is very strange and also very interesting in this anime. I actually am just in love with it. It got me. We'll admit it, after the first episode, it got me. I, I need to continue watching this one. So I really enjoy this. Um, I will do 18 and over because it deals with uh, sexual things, it deals with killing people, there are blood, there's a lot of scenes that are gory. Really don't recommend it for anybody younger than 18. Safety measure. But it is very interesting if you like your anime with a lot of action. Um, the story is going pretty smooth. Definitely enjoy it. Um, but these kids are just kind of not great kids, to to tell you the truth. Like, this classroom is kind of like two feathers to the wind. And when this stuff starts happening, they just want somebody to blame. Um, which kind of happened in his original classroom, but it looked like they snapped out of it quicker than these guys are going to. Like, I don't know. It seems very strange. But... I truthfully enjoy this and would definitely recommend if you want action, a bit of gore, and a really good story so far. I did see that there's a manga uh, to this or for this, and I may try and find it and start reading it. It seems, this seems interesting, so wouldn't the manga be too? So if you like this video, definitely leave a like, leave it in the comment section below. Have you started watching The King's Game and what do you think about it? Definitely give me like a couple sentences or if you like a certain character, definitely enjoy that as well. And how do you, th like who do you think the king is? That one I would love to read or anything like that. And if you enjoyed this video, Definitely, definitely subscribe because I do try and upload videos from Monday to Friday on a regular basis, but my work schedule is everywhere. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can get more regular. Really depends. And if you want to follow me on Facebook or Twitter for either when I do live streams or for just kind of get in contact with me. Hey, I don't mind. The links are down below. And I hope that you are having a very wonderful, wonderful day. Wolfie Chong out. Bye.